Hi everyone, this is Mariana with Mexico Relocation Guide. In today's video, we're going to show you the four neighborhoods we recommend you live in in San Miguel de Allende. We're going to show you some rentals with cost of living examples, some amenities in each of the individual neighborhoods. And in today's video, your host is going to be Robin, one of our recommended relocation tour guides in San Miguel de Allende. We hope that this video inspires you to visit San Miguel. So with that, let me introduce you to your host, Robin. Bienvenidos a San Miguel, the heart of Mexico. I'm Robin and your guide for today's adventure. We will be visiting four of the 23 colonias that comprise San Miguel, and I will be discussing their main attractions as well as their limitations. San Miguel is also revered as one of the towns that gave rise to the Mexican Revolution. There are approximately 365 churches and chapels, and there are celebrations in honor of the numerous saints almost every day. San Miguel is located in the colonial highland region of the interior of Mexico, home to about 140,000 residents, of, of whom approximately 10,000 are extranjeros, or expats. Over the course of the year, the temperatures vary between 41 to 85 degrees, and it is rarely below 36 or above 91 degrees. So let's get started with the neighborhood tour. We are beginning in Centro at the Biblioteca, a wonderful building on Insurgentes that once housed homeless women and children. To live in Centro is to live in the core of the beehive. You will find countless cultural and culinary events and experiences at your doorstep. There is a huge variety of homes from studio apartments to 10 bedroom haciendas. Decor also varies from traditional Mexican to contemporary homes with elevators. We are very proud of our rooftop terraces and the views that they offer. Most homes boast modest, modern kitchens, baths, and some type of outdoor space. One of the homes I rented was built around a centuries old orchard. There is not one particular colonia where the expat community lives. Rather, we are scattered throughout the town. Rents can range from 450 US to $5,000 and up. A three bedroom, three bathroom home can be found from between 850 to $1,500. The downside of Centro is the noise and traffic. You will awake and go to sleep with fireworks blasting, church bells chiming and dogs barking. On the weekends, traffic can also be pretty fierce. From Centro, we explore a bit of Guadalupe. Guadalupe is a charming, typical small Mexican town neighborhood located only a few minutes away from downtown. There is a strong artistic community that often organizes events such as the open studio tours and painting of beautiful graffiti murals that decorate the neighborhood's walls. The markets here in, in Guadalupe are also of a better price than the one found in Ignacio Romero's in Centro. After Guadalupe, we're going to head into Guadiana, which is one of the most desirable and sought after neighborhoods of San Miguel. It's close to everything. A five minute flat walk to Juarez Park and the Instituto Allende and a 10 minute walk to Centro. 
It has its own charming park as well, Guadiana Park. Across the Ancha, which means wide, is San Antonio. And favorite Colonia. It's easy and a manageable walking distance to Centro. In the center of the Colonia is a charming, small, and very active parish. The Colonia is also home to many fabulous and less expensive restaurants. Perhaps my favorite food shopping block in San Miguel is Sterling Dickinson. Lupita's Verduras y Frutas, Buen Forno Bread and Pastry, and Pork Belly's Restaurant. We are at Buen Forno, Pastelaria, Pandelaria, but it's almost their last hour being opened and I didn't reserve my bread, so I'm gonna see if they have anything left. As we continue along the Ancha towards Salaya, we pass a fish market that has fresh fish flown in on Thursdays and Fridays, which they will reserve for you. The fish is awesome and the prices are just right. Across the street is City Market and La, Lo and La Comer, which are both upscale, traditionally Norte Americano supermarkets. You will pay top dollar, but you can find just about whatever you want. We are now finishing our tour in one of the oldest neighborhoods, Los Freles, which used to be considered the campo, the countryside, but now it's just a short hop from Centro. The homes are huge and mostly traditional. Some encompass the entire block, and the neighborhood is built around individual squares. There's outdoor music and movies in one of the squares and an organic Saturday market in another, which is where I'm sitting right now. I will never buy another tomato from a supermarket. The food in this organic market it has a different flavor completely. Los Reales feels like its own small town. Rentals can be found from $700 on up and many of the homes have swimming pools.
The downside for this community is that some consider it a distance from Central, although the public buses stop directly in front of the community. And that concludes our brief tour of San Miguel. There are over 20 additional colonias to explore, and each street offers you a surprise every day. So I hope you'll come and visit with us. Look forward to meeting you all. Thank you.